in a uh, very strange turn of events. <laughs> this is kind of hilarious. I know it's um, pretty interesting, but what happened was Elantris, who is a Wizard of Coast employee, created a Reddit for memes. Now, I don't know why they believed it was good to do this, but they did. And now all they see is this flag. And obviously people and entire stores have been banned and had their WPN taken away for posting this flag. So should this person who is Eric Froelich's wife, Efro's wife, should she be banned for creating a meme group when Travis Wu was fired from his job and banned for one year for being a moderator on this meme group. So Elantris is a moderator of this meme. Now, now the only difference I can see is instead of being on Facebook, it is on Reddit. So first of all, this was a terrible concept. I don't know why Wizard of Coast would do this, but uh, they did it. And now it is just very bad. Uh, it is incredibly bad because it shows you how double-sided and double-faced, two-faced everything is. Um, I think a lot of Magic YouTubers, Wedge and Tolarian, are very two-faced. I know that was kind of off-topic, but I just wanted to uh, get that jab in while I could. And here we have a situation where somebody's been banned as a Magic Pro. He was um, allowed... He was going to go to the pro tour he had a free ticket he was he had plans to go and magic was his entire life that was travis Wu. so now we have a double standard where memes are okay the exact same memes are okay as long as a wizard of the coast employee posts them as opposed to a random magic pro so a lot of really funny stuff and I wanted to document this because I think they're absolutely right. They're just going to close this group, they're going to close this reddit and then no one will know. No one will remember. And they have done many of these things. Uh, Tolarian, Weds, Wizard of the Coast, AE Merlin. They've said some pretty outrageous stuff in my opinion and it's not just outrageous to like a conservative or someone who lives in Texas, it's just outrageous to regular people. Um, Emma has said some things that are just way out there in my opinion. But what happens is no one makes a record of it and then they forget. Uh, Frank, for instance, um, he scrubbed a whole affair on Melissa de Toro under the rug and the creepiness and the fact that, I mean, again, in software, you don't automate a task unless you want, unless you have to do that task a hundred times. So Frank was automating his text, his love text messages, and you have to assume that he had a hundred people who were sending them out to. Now, one of the crazy parts about this whole thing was a lot of things that are being said by the left-leaning YouTubers slash e-celebrities, they're just crazy. Um, they don't make any sense they're not so you banned someone and emma was shaking in anger over a meme a screenshot over a meme so what do you decide to do well what if we had reddit which is reddit post memes on our group uh, afina says i've made a subreddit for mtg memes please submit your highest quality shit post this is no way this could end poorly. There's no way this could end poorly. So again, a Wizard of Coast employee, uh, she knows what she's going to get into. She knows what the history of Travis is, that he's been banned, on Sleep Media is banned, a host store is banned for post uh, having a picture of this flag as long as Shafron Olive says it's good. You're good. They are good. Okay, so let's read. Come on, Jeremy, you know the deal. C is woman and it will not be held to the same standards as filthy toxic man. Uh, I'm personally switching to Dragon Ball Super TCG. It is very close to magic. So 
obviously not a good look. Um, you shouldn't really have it, the, the really crazy part about this is if you look at other companies like the Pokemon Nintendo company or Square Enix, you you don't really know like what they what their political beliefs are. Do they like Donald? Do they hate Donald? Who knows? And uh, people who normally go on one side or the other side, like uh, Papa John CEO, they are pushed out very fast because that is the climate that we live in today. Um, and I don't care if you're left, you're right, you're center. As long as you don't push your beliefs onto other people, there's no problem. I don't care. Especially in something that's magic related where it is about community. And I had made videos about this um, recently. I'm making these videos on a Thursday, so a lot of things can change. But if you do care about the community, um, you the community should be the people that you play with, you physically see, in my opinion. So here we have uh, Tularean Community College as a Nickelback. You know, I think that's kind of offensive. Gotta live that list. Math. Did someone say high quality? <laughs> I mean, it's uh, fascinating in my opinion that they would, an employee would knowingly create this just to be wrecked. And I think it, it, I think this is the way it works. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong. I'm offended. Okay, I find something, I screenshot it, and I tell you that I'm offended. Then I get all the likes because I'm offended, and I get all the retweets. And then I get sponsored by Wizard of the Coast. See, Emma. Emma is now one of the most sponsored people at Wizard of the Coast. And she's the one who got Travis and many uh, people in the Facebook group banned. She was shaking with anger, is the tweet. Uh, the very famous tweet. So, okay, now she is a big name. How does she get even bigger from this point on? Well, what if she creates a, a group collecting the memes, being offended by the memes that she's collecting, and then getting even more likes and retweets. And then Wizard Coast will sponsor her even more. Here we have uh, Trump is best, offensive memes, this means war. It's a triggered effect, Pepe's last reckoning. I mean, <laughs> this is owned by a Wizard of the Coast employee. That's the crazy part. Wizard of the Coast is indirectly but still associated with this group that they made and they had 100 percent they knew this would happen they knew it would happen and they still did it anyway because of their arrogance no other company would ever do this like mcdonald's if i asked you if the mcdonald's ceo is Left-leaning, center, or on the right, would you guys know? Probably not, because he would keep that very close. Because what would happen is if he was left-leaning and he kept saying crazy stuff like wedge, then the people who were right-leaning or center are not going to buy from McDonald's anymore. Like, this is a business decision. I mean, look at some of this stuff, right? I mean, it's just offensive. Like, I mean... My God, it's offensive. Um, and this is all due. This is 100% due. I mean, oh my gosh. Like, I'm glad I took screenshots of it because I'm guaranteeing you that the Reddit forum will be taken down very soon. So it's interesting to see these screenshots. But this is why Magic the Gathering has a problem. Uh, I've never seen a game that has made so many people. So obviously you have people who support the game and who like the policies. And then you have people who don't. As a business, you would never want to isolate half the population by attacking them all the time. Half the population being, in this case, of course, white males. Again, I will say for the 18th time, I am not a white male. Therefore, it doesn't really matter to me. Like, it's not affecting me personally. I am probably, if I acted and behaved properly, I'm sure I would get a, a preview card because I am not a white male. And I'm not someone who is begging for money. I am not someone who... Wed's his most famous statement, and I have this recorded, otherwise it would be unbelievable, is he, I have no pride. He says that. 
I have no pride. As a human being, I feel a little sad. As a as someone with uh, with a lot of pride about what I do and what I've accomplished in life, I will never relate to someone who says I have no pride. Because even if t- things are tough, that's when you have the most pride. Where you have to set the high standards for yourself. Anyway, my point being, I wanted to screenshot this. <laughs> to Larry and <with> Nickelback. <laughs> I wanted to screenshot this before they deleted it because I think it'll be interesting history of uh, magic. Anyway, bye guys.